Hey, it is Dr. O'Gwyn here. Got a new Consumer Report magazine. I saw this in the grocery store when I was checking out. Uh, real relief from back pain. Thought I needed to check that out, stay on top, see what patients might be asking me about new gadgets or gizmos. With this one in particular, I was, I, I like the information in here. It was really good, um, kind of thorough, just some basic ideas of what really works. Starts with the fact that the VA hospitals are now adding yoga, adding chiropractic care, adding acupuncture. And the reason they say that they're adding those services is because they work and they are cost effective. So they go through the traditional things that we've been doing for years. Actually, the Journal of the American Medical Association they talk about in here kind of looked at some data from 1999 through 2010 and so in treating back pain that the use of painkillers and narcotics went up about 50 percent the use of imaging so using CT x-ray MRI went up over 50 percent I think it was 57 percent referrals to um, surgeons and neurologists nearly doubled and for all of the efforts not much of a significant impact on back pain if anything more of a negative impact because of these invasive therapies so what Consumer Reports did was went out and surveyed hundreds of thousands of people that had low back pain, had chronic low back pain, and different things that they tried and what worked for them. The number one thing that worked is strengthening and uh, stretching routine. So yoga was at the very top of the list. And if you're a patient of mine, you know I'm a big advocate of yoga or some form of strengthening and exercising and stretching. You've got to keep the muscles strong around the spine, keep it stabilized, and that's the the thing that works the most. Second on the list, hands-on therapy. So uh, chiropractic care, massage, those two were right there, right after yoga. They work well. These are going to increase blood, uh, blood circulation into damaged tissues, help things heal faster. The joint manipulation helps to realign things, give you better ranges of motion. But additionally, you really want to be doing the exercises too. So the last thing that it talks about is the fact that people with chronic low back pain, 50% of them usually suffer some kind of depression. So if you have chronic low back pain and you feel uh, just tired, fatigued all the time, you feel like you might be uh, suffer from depression, things like mindfulness, meditation, cognitive behavioral therapy, those seem to work in addition to of course, something like some massage, chiropractic care, myofascial release, and doing some yoga or some form of strengthening and um, stretching. So there it is. That, that really sums up uh, what they talk about in here. But just wanted to share that with you. Uh, yoga, strengthening, stretching, hands-on therapies, chiropractic care, massage. And again, chronic low back pain, consider some form of meditation or something like that especially if you think you're suffering from depression. So if you have any questions, um, leave it in the comment below or feel free. I've got my contact information. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.